Hello and welcome to Computer Tech and More. Today I'm going to show you the final disassembly of the Asus Zephyrus G15 laptop, the 2021 edition. And I've already taken the opportunity to remove the Phillips head screws from all the locations. Do note that there are a few different lengths. I recommend setting out a tray and making sure you know where it is. So I have them situated right to left from to back, exactly how it is on the laptop. So that I make sure that I screw them in in all the right locations. And the basic spots are, I'm gonna point at them, there. One in the middle. And the reason it's important to take apart your laptop periodically is to well, for one, dust mitigation, and number two, if you wish to upgrade any of the storage options. So I have a iFixit toolkit. I am not sponsored by them. It's just a well-reviewed toolkit. It's not the only computer kit I have, but it is the one that I like the best. So I'm just using their, I'm gonna call them guitar picks to help me remove the panel. And this is what the inside looks like. Uh, this is a metal piece from my SSD. So I'm actually going to remove that. So this is the other reason I was creating this video is to talk about aftermarket SSD kits and installing a SSD. So I have a Sabrinth two terabyte I'm going to have the exact model that I purchased uh, in my video description. Again, I'm not sponsored by any of them. And I have a, a copper slug, basically. It came as this little kit right there. That's the brand. S-G-T-K-J-S-G. And originally, I just had the SSD in here without any uh, heat pad or copper slug on top of it. But under load, I noticed that it was getting very hot, very, very hot, and was actually thermal throttling. So I actually went to Reddit and uh, for the page for this laptop and asked, hey, does anybody else have this? Did they install an SSD and did they uh, buy any kits to, uh, with the copper to help with uh, heat mitigation and did it work? And a couple of people replied, one of them bought this exact same kit, which is why I went with it, because it has a one millimeter uh, copper piece, and then it comes with two different sizes for thermal pads. So one of them is this half millimeter, and the other one is a one millimeter. So I actually have a one millimeter and one millimeter. This can be used on any other laptop, by the way. Um, not all, not all, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, SSDs would require uh, this sort of uh, product. Basically, it just kind of depends on on the SSD itself because some of them run hot, some of them do not. Don't remember how I had that situated. Uh, but this one I had in there, maybe it was something like like that. I don't remember, but the SSD that comes with the laptop doesn't run particularly hot, and I just kind of put this on there to, I don't know, see if it had changed my, my thermal temperatures. It didn't, so I'm actually going to take it out now, but it was a fun little experiment, I guess you could call it. So this is the insides of the laptop. This is the original SSD. To install it or to remove it, you would unscrew this screw right here, it would pop up and then you would slide it out. Same with my aftermarket one, the Sabrinth. I'd unscrew right here, don't lose the screw. It'd pop up a little bit and you slide it out. This kit does come with a little pla couple little plastic rings to hold the copper in place, but uh, as you can see, it, there's it's not really needed. It sticks on pretty darn, darn well. 
the inside of the laptop. Here is the one replaceable memory module. The other memory is soldered onto it, so you could upgrade it, but if you fill up your your memory, you'll or the original amount of memory, so like 16 gigs, and let's say you upgrade it with a uh, 16 gig kit here to bring yourself up to, what's that? To like 24 gigs, I think. I'm trying to do the mental math real quick in my head. Uh, the first 16 gigs would be dual channel, and after that, if you use it, more of that, it would become single channel, so things would load up slower, but it would be faster than if it got cached to your SSD. Uh, in terms of cooling in the laptop, you have all these heat pipes covering the GPU and the CPU and the memory modules. They run to the fans and around. You can see some dust in there, so I'll be cleaning it after this video. I just will use some compressed air. I featured it in one of my other videos. Uh, we'll try it. I don't know how loud it'll be on camera. Just like that. And that cleans that. And don't forget to clean out the back case panel as well. So all laptops kind of fit the same with these uh, SSDs. I want to go back to that real quick. If you find that your laptop is thermal throttling and it doesn't have a copper sheet or the SSD doesn't uh, have a thermal pad connecting into the aluminum back of a lap uh, more premium laptop, one of these kits with the copper slug might be up your alley but you're going to want to check fitment, meaning how thick it can go, because you don't want to put too much pressure down across there because it puts pressure on the motherboard of the laptop itself. But, uh, yeah, I recommend cleaning out your laptop periodically. I've cleaned it out two times in my six, eight months of owning this machine. I... Would like to know I bought it from Best Buy and I bought it as an open box. I got real lucky with that. I'll feature another video with this laptop. But uh, thank you for watching. And uh, put it back on. Just get little clicks in place and then install those screws in all the right locations. And then you'll be up and running again. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.